Welcome to the next video in the 72 DL Plus series. In this video, we're going to show how to make uh, and set up for a multi-layer plastic application. And we're going to simulate this application by using three thin plastic shims. And we're going to couple between them with a little bit of water. So let's take a look at what we're going to do. So the first thing we have is I have three shims of material. We've got a red material, which is about two mils thick or 51 microns. Then we have a second purple material. You can kind of see it here. And that material is 1.5 mils or about 38 microns thick. And then we have a third layer of red, which is also two mils or about 51 microns. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically temporarily couple these together. And we'll start at the bottom layer and we'll pick it up and we'll put a small size uh, water on there, probably about the size of a good size coin. And then I'll bring the purple layer down onto that. It will, and I'll push on it gently and get it to spread out so that there's no air bubbles. I'll then do the same thing on top of that with another layer of a little bit of water and bring the plastic down again and spread it out a little bit so that it creates a bond between these three layers. And then I want to put a little bit of couplant on the top, a little bit of water on the top layer. And now what I can do is at least go ahead and check to see that I'm making detection of some echoes on here. And you can see, oh, I do. So I am properly detecting and the sound is traveling from one layer to the next. Okay. So now what we want to do, now that we have established that we've got our sample here and it's going to mimic a three layer sample, what I want to do is start by creating a new setup. So I want to go to my uh, burger menu, select my application and select create new. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, three layers. Um, I'm going to call it zero one. I'm going to press the uh, close um, keyboard button. And then I'm going to go to my next screen. And from here, I want to select the frequency. I'm going to be using the 125 megahertz transistor, the M2104. So I want to select the frequency range of 20 to 125 megahertz. And this is a multi-layer application. And from there, it's going to go into the transistor setup screen. So first thing I want to do is uh, transducer selection. So I want to select the correct transducer. In this case here, I'm going to be using the 2104. And it's going to be doing all mode two measurements. All right. So from there, I want to go ahead and pick my material. And in this case here, I'm going to select uh, from one of the plastic default values to get me a good ballpark number here. I'm going to pick um, high density polyethylene. Um, and I'm also going to go in and add the number of layers. So down on the configure list down here, you have a plus and minus, and it says L1. So I need to put in a maximum thickness value. And I'm going to enter in, in this case here, everything is around two mils thick or so, 1.5 to two. So what I want to do is enter something that's a little bit greater than the value, but not too much. So in this case here, I'm going to enter 0.003 for a value for my max thickness. And that's for layer one. And then I'm now gonna go ahead with, and click on the plus sign, add layer two and layer three. And what the software will do is it will take the setups from the other layers and apply it to each one. So if you can see that here, the material and the max thickness for all three are the same. Okay, at this point here, I'm all set up and now I get to really just get started with the setup. So what I wanna do is press the home key which is right under the adjustment knob. And that will bring me back to a measurement screen. Okay, so at this point, I need to start coupling and seeing my signals and making adjustments. Okay, so I'm coupled onto my sample and I can see a bunch of echoes that are on screen. Um, this is a three layer sample, so there should be surface echo and then there should be echo off the first layer, off the second, the third. Let's me go and expand this a little bit. I'm going to click on the range and use the adjustment knob. Whoops, a little too much uh, to bring those back here. And then I'm going to uh, adjust the delay 
and bring that in here so that we can expand these out a little bit. And then I might want to go out just to, again with the range. Sometimes you have to go back and forth a little bit just to spread them out so that we can get a good view. And I'm going to go back to my delay again. And that looks pretty good. All right, so what I have here is a three layer material. This first echo is small. It's the reflection off the front surface of the material. Then I have the reflection off the first layer, the second layer, and the third layer. So now what I want to do is set up my echo window so that um, my main bang blank and echo window so that I'm actually looking at the echoes just in this area of interest. So what I want to do is I want to click on the wave adjust icon and then I want to select interface echo which it is from the drop down so I can use this to select which layer I'm going to make adjustments on. So in this case here we're going to start with the interface echo and then we're going to work towards the, the last layer. So the first thing I want to do is click on the main bang blank and use the adjustment knob and we can see there that we're got the main bang blank set just before that these echoes are a little small so the first thing i want to do is to click on the initial gain and again i want to increase that a little bit so that's echoes are coming up in amplitude okay so the other thing we want to do is we want to look at the polarity of the echoes, right? So we're here on the interface program, interface echo, and we're looking at this echo and it's got a, a very large positive and a couple negatives. So we want to concentrate on the positive peak here. So we want to select positive detection on the interface echo. And um, that looks good. And we can see that it's already making a measurement in this case here. And uh, what I want to do is go ahead and jump down to my layer one measurement. OK, and that's going to be measuring from this positive, And it looks like this is a little bit high in amplitude. I can probably bring this down a little bit. I can um, click on the max gain and probably decrease that a little bit. OK, so something like that. And I want to also look at the polarity of this echo. And in this case here, we want to do negative detection. Right, so we're doing positive detection here to negative detection here. The next echo also looks to be negative, and so we want to make the adjustment on layer number two. So we select layer number two, which brings up our parameters for layer two. Again, we have things like a blank, and uh, if we adjust them incorrectly, you can see that it starts to hang up. Right, so if I just move this out a little bit, it makes automatic detection to this negative. Now it's not making proper detection on this. Um, third layer here and what i can do is go down there and make some adjustments there so let's just check the slope here this should also be negative now this last one here is kind of in between so let's go to the third layer i'm not sure whether we want to go positive or negative on it it looks kind of both right um so let's do a negative detection on it and it's hanging up on some of this little noise in here so if i take my max gain down a little bit i might be able to decrease some of that in some cases, you, your max gain won't change because the layer before it is already at some value. So we might need to go to the second layer and actually reduce the max gain on that one a little bit. And that will allow us to reduce the max gain on the third layer. So we can go back into the max gain and we can bring that down a little bit. And you can see that it's already starting to make proper detection. So in this case here, we have a three layer material. We have the surface echo reflection off the first layer, reflection off the second layer, and reflection off the third layer. So if I go out of wave adjust mode, I can look at my measurements here, and my first layer was supposed to be two mils thick, second one was 1.5, so it's pretty close, and the second one is two. So you can see I have very clean echoes here, and I'm making proper detection. So at this point, what I want to do is I've made changes to the setup and that you can tell that by the fact that the name of the setup is actually in yellow and has a star next to it. So all the changes that we made to the initial gain and the blanks and things like that, we need to save those uh, to, the, to the application. So if we click on the burger menu and then click on settings. I'm sorry, save application. And then we click on save application. So at this point, we can also go ahead and do a calibration. So if I touch manually touch the cal key, 
I can go in and make adjustments here. So let's go in here and, and make a calibration for the first layer. So the first layer we know is supposed to be 2000 thick. So if I press the cal velocity key and then touch the thickness, I can actually go in there and enter the known thickness. So it's going to be 0 0.0020. And I can hit the check mark. And now I want to go to my next layer. So I switch here to layer number two. And that thickness is supposed to be 1.5 mils. Um, so what I want to do is click on cal velocity and then touch the area of measurement here. And I want to enter the known thickness 0 0.0015. And then I can hit the check mark. And the last thing I want to do is go back in and calibrate for layer number three. And you can see it's reading about two thousandths, a little over. So I want to press the Calvel again and then touch on the area and enter the known thickness is 0 0.0020 and hit the check mark. At this point, because of the changes in velocity, you can see that the echo has actually moved off screen a little bit. So to finish this up, I can click on the range or the, in this case here, the delay, and I can move that back off screen. And I can go in and spread it out a little bit using the range and adjust that. The nice thing about this is I've done this all from a frozen waveform. So again, the beauty of this is because we digitally capture the entire signal, uh, we can adjust things like the gain, the ranges, the blanks, all on a frozen waveform. Okay, so pretty much that's good. We're good, we're calibrated. I'm gonna go back in one last time and just save the application. And that way it's going to save the calibration data as well. This concludes making adjustments for a three-layer thin plastic application and how to go ahead and calibrate.